The header tank can sometimes leak. If it does, this is the overflow. This is designed to drip directly to the floor. If we take the lid off the header tank, we'll see inside that there is a system. We push the float down. This will allow water into the tank. We can see here the overflow height. And this is approximately the correct distance down the tank should be when it's full. If it's not, we can bend this arm here to correct the height. Check to make sure there is no water in the float. At this point, if water is still coming in through the valve, it will be necessary to pull apart the valve and clean it. If it is damaged, it will need to be replaced. The header tank and pump assembly has a one-way valve fitted here. Some of the earlier models also have a one-way valve fitted here. This particular one has a solenoid valve. If the oven is fitted with two of these one-way valves, one here and one down here, and the report is that the oven is continually filling with water and the chamber is overflowing, it will be that these one-way valves are either full of rubbish or are stuck open, so it will be necessary to pull them off the oven and clean them out. To dismantle and clean the one-way valve, the end cap screws off this. Here we see in the centre the plunger and the return spring. This return spring is one fitted at the factory and it is stronger than the original spring. These can have be stretched by four or five millimetres to give extra tension when required. There is an o-ring that will fall off every time it is dismantled. This gets seated here. It is important that it goes back in its correct position before putting the valve back together. Clean these surfaces. Clean this surface on here and the mating surface inside the end cap. 